Hi, it's Dr. Spokal, functional podiatrist and human movement specialist. The weather is getting warmer, which means it is time for open shoe season. This also means that it is the time where you are switching to footwear that makes it more difficult to possibly use your custom orthotics or your arch supports. So what do you do if you have some of your favorite summer sandals and they might be completely flat? You know you're going to be standing for a long period and you're looking for a little bit of foot support. This is why I recommend to my patients sole insole foot pads that are reusable and washable. So these different foot pads can be placed directly onto your shoe to bring that perfect amount of support and control in place of the arch support or the custom orthotic that would otherwise go into a sneaker or a closed toed shoe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my three favorite foot pads from Sole Insole and how you would actually place them onto the sandal. First one is called a shoe bubble. This is going to be an arch support. You're going to place it onto the inside of the sandal. So you can see I'm placing it on the inside of the sandal and then where we see the larger part of that shoe bubble, that's actually gonna run underneath my medial arch to give some support and lift to the muscles and the structures there. Really good option to use that shoe bubble if you have mild overpronation, maybe some plantar fasciitis, your foot fatigues very easily. You wanna be thinking about bringing that shoe bubble into your flat summer sandals. Another one that is a great way to bring control to a otherwise flat sandal is to use a heel wedge. This is one of the most common ways that orthotics actually bring support to the foot is through wedges. So this would be one that we are going to place onto the left sandal. So you can see that I'm placing it on the inside of the left sandal so that when I stand on it, it's going to tilt my heel into a more neutral or supported position. Utilizing that heel wedge is really great for anyone who might have plantar fasciitis, post tip tendonitis, overpronation, maybe some foot fatigue. Great combination with the heel wedge and you can even add in that shoe bubble to get a little bit more support. So those are two great ways to control really that overpronated, flat, unstable foot in an otherwise flat sandal. Now, one last pad that I love to integrate with my patients is a metatarsal pad. Now, a metatarsal pad is intended to go into the ball of the foot. And the way that it works is that when you place it on the sandal in the ball of the foot, as you walk and you stand, it's actually gonna open up and spread these long bones, these metatarsals in the foot to open up and lift you off of the ball of your foot. So using that metatarsal pad is great for neuromas, hammer toes, metatarsalgia, which means ball of foot pain, bunions, also overpronation and foot fatigue. So again, really, really great option. All of these, again, reusable, great adhesive on them. They're washable. If they're a little bit larger, you can even trim them down to fit your foot and your shoes perfectly. So again, if you are looking to wear those favorite flat summer sandals or open-toed shoes, and you know that you're just not gonna be able to fit your custom orthotic into those, then you wanna be thinking about foot pads that provide a great option of foot support. And these are the ones by Soul Insole. If you wanna learn more about these great foot pads, please go to soulinsole.com. If you wanna learn more about how we approach patients from a functional perspective, please visit dremilysplickle.com.